Hey there YouTube, coming at you with another video. So today I want to talk about um, something that you can try before replacing a ABS pump or master cylinder. Um, this is a 2009 Ford Escape XLT four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive basically. Um, and we have a problem with, um, in the past, we had a problem with under hard braking that the car would lose brake pressure. And after doing research, um, found out that it was the ABS pump. And the symptoms um, appear to be either a master cylinder or uh, something brake related, but um, if you check out Ford Tech Make You Local video, he did one on a uh, Ford Fusion, I believe. Um, and if I find the video, I'll link it below. But basically, what happens is your brakes go into a loop and a um, solenoid in the ABS gets stuck. So, what I did is I have the Altel uh, MP808. So I thought, well, what if we try bleeding the ABS pump? And it actually fixed my problem. So um, that happened, I want to say, about three months ago. And I realized it's not a permanent fix. Um, eventually, that pump will go bad. But the pump is also out over $1,000 from the dealer. And even on eBay, I'm seeing pumps for like two, three, four hundred dollars $400. Um, so, so it's definitely worth a try if you have one of these scanners, um, to take it to a shop to do it, to pay them to do it. I don't, to be completely honest, I don't know if it'd be worth it just because of the fact, like if it doesn't work for you, you know, you're out that money. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you bleed the ABS, um, pump in this. So you go ahead and you head forward. Go to uh, Auto VIN Select and read the VIN. And you have the ignition on, but you don't start it. <clears throat> so, read the VIN. That's my VIN. It, yes. It is not equipped with uh, navigation. So, typically when you... Um, bleed your ABS pump, you're supposed to bleed all your brakes, um, because sometimes, um, <clears throat> air does get in there, but in this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and do it, but I'm, I'm not going to bleed the pump, the, the brakes, just because they've been bled multiple times, and there's no air in it, in fact, the pump is working fine, even under hard load, so let's go to hot functions, hot functions means when the ignition is on, so like in the hot position. So these are all the things you can do in the hot position. So we want to do brake brake bleed, anti lock brake service. So it says before consult your manual, prevent turn on the ignition, depress and hold the brake. So we're holding the brake and we hit okay. Lots of brake pressure. Pumped it back up. Now it's firm. Lost it again. Firm again. And you can kind of hear it in the background. And then one more time. So function complete. So you can also go in here and activate in, um, different solenoids and, and actuators for the pump. But I found by just doing the brake bleed, fixed my problem. Um, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna work all the time. But uh, actually, I should say it may not work all the time. It's better than spending two, three, four a thousand dollars on a new pump so um like i said it's worth a shot um and if anybody has any comments or, or um 
any advice on this, you know, if they want to chime in, you know, leave a comment below. If you like content like this, um, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, and if you want to see more videos, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I plan on doing more automotive videos, uh, maybe home automotive. Like I, I have a 26 by 30 garage. I kind of want to turn into a shop and, uh, I have a whole bunch of other like uh, DIY uh, projects I plan on doing if y'all interested. So anyways, thanks everyone for watching and take care.